Hi guys, it's Stuart Wilson, and um, today I'm going to be film. Today I'm going to be filming my um, review for um, episode um, episode two of series five, The Beast Below. It's really good. Um, the monster monster in it is not actually the alien monster in it isn't the bad guy. Not sure you said there is any bad guys. Bad guys. They all they do things because they believe it's the right thing. I mean the alien. Starvel. He's gentle. It even gets compared to the doctor. Oh, I can envy this. Um, what was said was um. If you're old and kind and the last of your kind. Then you can't. Then you can't help but go go to people when the children are crying. But yeah, I mean, I mean Amy Pond makes some major character developments. Shows that um she's scared of what we found. I mean, last episode we found that she was getting married. So the wedding dress. She actually she confirms it in this episode. But it's, it, it, but it hints that she's a bit scared about it. I suppose she doesn't want to settle down. She doesn't really until we later on. But if it's, it was just her life never is easy. But um, yeah, I wait this nine point nine out. I'll be wait. I'll be waiting about a twenty in future. By the way, starting from episode three, um, Amy Pond doesn't let the dog. Amy Pond also well, we thought we just said she's about to get kicked out of the TARDIS for making sin for the Doctor. She um does something really heroic. I mean, she doesn't let the Doctor kill the Star, not kill the Star World, but put him in a but make him a vegetable. Because like no, they don't. I can, can compare that to series to his fiftieth anniversary. The 50th special of Doctor Who, and Clara didn't let the Doctor blow at Gallifrey. But yeah, but we've come to more on that, and we'll know if I review that episode. Um, yeah, it's a good episode. This one, I mean, it's got the winds and the smilers. Smilers like, um, one's a half smile, and a half human, and the smilers, first, it's a nice teacher face. And then mean teacher face, and then the scary wine yeah, it's like that. Ah. So yeah, it's got Liz Tennant, who we'll see again in the penultimate episode of series five. If you watch the series, I'd it's worth pick it if you've not watched it already. Pick it up. Oh yeah, and the next review I'm also saying what you must know how to prove you're Doctor Who fan. There's one thing you must always know if you're a Doctor Who fan. I should comment on, I'm going to say one thing from the first. It's not always a must, but you should know the Doctor's ship is called TARDIS, which stands for Time and Relative Dimension and Space. But yeah, it's a good episode. Um, it's, the planet is not actually a planet, it's on a ship, but all of Britain, and um, I can't remember if it's Northern Ireland, just Ireland, if it's Ireland or just Northern Ireland. They're all in a ship, apart from Scotland, who wanted their own ship. Which was which was why the girl I think it's Mandy or something like that found it weird when she Amy was on the show because she was Scottish. I mean that sort of link that sort of reflects on what's happening today. I mean some of I'm not not all Scotland but a lot of Scotland want to some of Scotland want to don't want to be part of the UK. But um, I mean, my view is it's a late it's um. I don't know. I mean, you, you don't when I don't really understand how you can separate from a country. To be honest, I understand if it's a country right in the, in between it. I mean, you wouldn't be. I mean, if someone to be out, come, be kicked out of if a country would be kicked out of Europe, they wouldn't let them move out. Or if a country just said, "Well, we don't want to be classed as Earth." I'm not getting into that. I'm about this Doctor Who episode. It's set way in the future. Um, Quite good, very good. The cracks on the ship this time. Also, and it ends with a call from Winston Churchill. Beautiful scene. 
and you see the dialic in the background. So yeah, that's my that's my view for um, it. Bye guys.